Okay guys, now that we're done with it, drawing our shoe, the next step is to use some tracing paper to trace over it. Now my tracing paper is translucent, so I'm gonna put it over top of my shoe, and you'll notice that I can see my shoe through it. Now I'm gonna use my helper hand, the hand that I don't draw with, my non-dominant hand, to trace over all of the lines that I've drawn. I'm gonna start with doing the full outline of my shoe first. And I'm making sure I trace right over top of the shoe or the lines of the shoe drawing. I don't want to start making other lines that aren't on my original. And I kind of move around. I don't trace the entire outline all at once. I'm kind of working on sections. Like right now I'm working on the bottom half. Or sorry, bottom front half of the shoe. I'm gonna move up to this line. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep tracing the outline of my shoe. All right, now that I have my shoe traced in pencil, I'm gonna keep my hand on my tracing paper and carefully lift up my tracing paper from my draw, original drawing. And you'll notice I left off this little line. I'm just gonna trace over that too. Now, we traced over our entire shoe with pencil. The reason why we used pencil is because the pencil leaves a little bit of a graphite dust on top of my tracing paper. That's going to let us create multiple copies of the shoe on a bigger piece of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead, get rid of my original, and get a bigger piece of white paper. Now, at this point, we're going to have a pencil, a Sharpie, and eventually we're going to use an eraser. So, I'm looking at what side has my graphite on it. My shoe was originally facing with the toe to the left. So when we start tracing it, we actually have to flip it over so that the shoe is facing the toe towards the right. And I'm going to place my shoe in an interesting angle. I don't want it smack dab in the middle. So I'm gonna maybe put it down here to the left hand side um, and I actually I have my heel right against the bottom I could even move it down so that my heel is hitting one side and my toe is hitting the other kind of creating a triangle right here so now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace over these lines from the back and what that's going to do is leave a little bit of graphite on the other side. So I'll show you just a little bit right here. So I'm gonna trace over my line right on top of it because I'm pushing the graphite onto my big paper so that I can make a copy. If I lift this up, you can see a very faint line of the front of my shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace all of my shoe. And just like you just saw me do, when I'm done, I'll make sure I've gotten all of my lines. And then I will trace over it with my fine tip Sharpie. with my Sharpie, you'll notice that I didn't trace exactly perfectly with my Sharpie. I do that because 
the tracing with the pencil doesn't always give me the lines exactly where I want them. So I sort of correct them when I go with my Sharpie. So now I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna erase all of those stray lines, those lines that I don't want showing in my final picture. And I'm holding my paper firmly and I am erasing just on the line. I'm following the line. I'm not erasing all over my paper. I'm just following the line the way it goes. That keeps my paper from getting all wrinkled. All right, so now that I have erased all of those stray lines, it's time for me to trace another shoe. Now, I can trace my shoe three times going this direction before I need to flip it over and use the graphite on this side. So, here's one. I'm gonna do two. When I trace it the next time, I'm going to slightly overlap my shoe. And I think I might just have a strong diagonal go from this side to that side. So you'll notice I have the heel of my shoe overlapping the original traced image. I am not gonna trace the part that's overlapping. So I can see those laces shining through. So I'm gonna start tracing the part that's showing. Now, this is another nice thing about having it be erasable when we trace over it. That means anything that might accidentally get drawn on that other shoe, I can easily erase it. And because this has already been done in Sharpie, I'm not gonna risk accidentally erasing that shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish tracing this shoe and then trace it again with my permanent marker, with my skinny Sharpie, and then I will do a third shoe. And don't forget, carefully peel your paper back without moving it to see where you've drawn. All right, now that I've traced it three times this way, I don't have very much graphite left on this side of my tracing paper. So now it's going to be time to move on and trace it going the other direction. Now, as you add more shoes, you begin to get more negative space. The negative space is the area that's around the shoe or the area that's empty. In other words, right here, there's no shoe. So that would be your negative space. So I'm gonna flip over my tracing paper and continue to trace my shoe, thinking about what my negative space will look like. Now, one thing I like to do is make it heavier on the bottom. In other words, have more items on the bottom and have less of my positive space my space taken up by my shoe towards the top. So I'm gonna go ahead, keep tracing, remember three times before I run out of graphite and need to flip it over. So just like before, I'm going to hold it carefully and trace over it with my pencil. So I'm gonna play around with how I want my shoe. I like the negative space that this creates. So I will go ahead and start tracing my shoe here and I can still trace it two more times after I do this one. Right, guys there you have it I have all of my shoes traced and um, 
traced over with my permanent marker and erased all of my pencil lines. So next time you're in here, we're gonna start coloring in our negative space.